In today's video, we're going to be going over the drawing tool. This can be accessed in your Seesaw app or at app.seesaw.me. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do inside of the web app or the device app is to press the add button. Here I'm going to see the drawing tool that looks like a pencil. The buttons at the top, you're going to see the trash can. This is to delete if you'd like to start over. You're going to see the plus button. This is to zoom in and out of the page. You're going to see the hide and show tools button. You're going to see the undo and redo button. Okay, now let's look down at the bottom. On the very bottom left hand side, we have our caption. This is where I can type a note to my teacher and parents, or I can add a voice caption if I'd like to give them some more information about what I'm working on. Then you're going to see the hand or the move button. This allows me to move objects that I have put on my screen. Now, the rest of these tools all have the same features built in. For example, if I touch the pencil and touch it a second time, it's going to bring up the size. So I can touch it a second time and have a thick, or I can touch it a second time and have a thin. Same thing for the marker, thick and thin, the highlighter, thick and thin, the magic marker, thick and thin, and my eraser, I can do thick, thin, and then you're going to see an added one, which is erase drawing. If I click erase drawing, I can actually clear the board. Another thing that all of these tools have is the color slider. So if I'm using the pencil and I have chosen my size, I can also choose the color that I'd like to use over here on the right hand side. This works for all of the tools at the bottom. So let's clear this board. On this left hand side, you're going to see the text box where I could actually type my name if I'd like. You're going to see the record audio button, the camera button, which allows me to take pictures, and then this circle with three dots, this gives me more. I can add some shapes to my background if I'd like to. And I can also change the background that I'm working on. Now let's go back to this record audio. What's nice about this is it can draw and record my voice at the same time. If I'd like my teacher to hear what I'm saying while I'm working, I'm gonna press the microphone, press start recording. You'll now see a red recording bar at the top. This tells me that it's recording my voice. So for example, I can bring up this marker. As I read, I could say, mm, at, that spells Matt. Now I'm gonna press the green button at the top right corner when I'm finished. What's nice about this is this is going to allow my teacher to see and hear at the same time what I've done. So let me show you what this looks like. As I read, I could say, mm, at, that spells Matt. So you can see the teacher is able to hear my voice and see my writing. So let's go back to this main section. Let me show you a couple more tools. On the right hand side, I can add extra pages. So for example, this can be my page one. Now on the bottom right hand corner, I can add another page and this can be my number two page. So now you can see I can actually submit multiple pages to my teacher. And then if you're ready to submit, you're going to press the green button at the top right corner and then submit it the way the teacher has set it up in your classroom. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the drawing tool.